Hello everyone, we are going to be playing PUBG on the Pocket 2S. It's a uh, pretty small handheld emulator, but it also runs Android. So right here I got PUBG in the background. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see that, but it has touch screen so you can play with the screen or you can map out the controllers too with this little screen mapping that it comes with it so I'm gonna do my best to see if I can win this game <laughs> I don't really play PUBG a lot I'm more of a um, Call of Duty and Fortnite person but um, I couldn't get I, I got Fortnite to run this on, the, on this device and it runs yeah I mean it runs okay um, Fortnite is scheduled to come back to the App Store later on this year it's doing some testing right now in Europe so the application is gonna be um, how do you say it more optimized in the future you won't have to worry about Weird things. Oh man. Okay, I gotta find a gun. There's this guy here. Oh, there's two guys here. That's great. There's two guys here, and I don't have no gun. Okay. Um. Okay, I think they left. Oh no, he's right here. Okay, for a minute I thought maybe they killed themselves. I've had that happen before. I ended up killing myself and my opponent at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my Uzi. Yeah, but this um this emulator is a hundred dollars. Um, if you order it from the actual website, it took around three weeks to get here, so you're gonna be waiting a while. <laughs> so um, I would definitely download a, a application called shop so you can get a notification when the tracking number is available to you and that way you can check to see the status of the if your order okay, I'm getting shot at from another side too But no, yeah, for a hundred dollars and tax, so it's gonna be around one hundred and fifteen, I believe, is what it was. Oh man, you get an awesome little device. You you can play a lot of things on this thing. I mean, you can play um, up to GameCube games, but only certain GameCube games like F Zero GX isn't gonna run on this. Super Mario Galaxy, it's gonna be somewhat playable, but it's not gonna be a good experience. But Super Smash Bros, um, I don't know if you remember me trying to play that on the R36, it runs perfectly on this, so you can play the actual story mode, you can unlock the characters, I mean, you can, you can do quite a bit. <laughs> and then working your way down from the PS Vitas to the 3S, uh, 3DS, 3DS, I can't even say the word, uh, 3DS um, emulator, you can run all those games too, so... For a hundred bucks, this is a nice little device. Um, it, it comes with a micro HDMI adapter, a USB Type-C charger, a couple buttons, a, uh, analog, I think these are analog sticks, no not sticks, analog, oh, crap, I don't know what these things are called, but they have, um, for racing, you know, they have the, the pull down, it's not just a click. Um, they have Hall Effect joysticks, so for a hundred bucks you're getting a lot of cool stuff, man. Hall of the buttons feel nice too. They're not clicky and they're not, you know, bunchy. The D pad on this is nice. I love the D pad on this. Way better than the this is definitely a huge upgrade from the um, R36. I really wish the Nintendo Switch would include these types of joysticks, because these things are awesome. I've gone ahead and just thrown this in my bag and 
Um, it hasn't cost me any issues. Um, I don't have a protected case for it, but I should probably get one. But um, yeah, I mean, for a hundred bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, for another extra hundred dollars, you can get the Retro uh, Retroid Pro Four, and that comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. And it also comes with dual, so you can run emulators, emulation station, and you can also have, and it also has um, Android 13, I believe. I think I, I believe I'm running Android 11 on this device, or Android 9. And you can upgrade. I believe you can upgrade the Android. It's just I haven't figured it out. Oh no! Someone shooting me. Where? Oh. Okay. Yeah, he got me. I didn't know I was low in health. I was playing through my phone, but yeah. Uh, that's PUBG. On this little device, um, but again, if you try to order this from AliExpress or Timu, you're not gonna get an amazing deal. This is one of those devices that I'm actually kind of surprised that it's around twenty, thirty, thirty dollars more on the um, app, and I believe it comes with free shipping. It may come with like some games or something, like a SD card game. This one from the actual store did not come with an SD card uh, field game, so it, you just get the device. It has 128 gigabytes of storage, I believe, and it also comes with a TF card, um, little audio thing. And that's pretty much it. Um, you get these little buttons for the home, for the back, and I forgot what this does, but you can, you can, um, I think you can, like, use this as also as a button. And this is the back of it. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'll put a little racer sticker on it. <laughs> um, it looks nice. It feels nice. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. And this is the uh, key mapping software that it has built into it. All you gotta do is just pull from the right to the left. You can record, screenshot, speed up, key test. Like I wish all of this was you know built into like a. You know, a phone or something you know the, especially the screen mapping because you can play Genshin Impact I don't have the game downloaded but you can play the game with the controllers since you're able to map the controllers so um, that's all I'm gonna say about this for right now um, definitely order from the website just be ready to wait about three to three weeks to six weeks it all depends on where you live um, and I believe if you live in a rural area, I believe it's like $50 more for the delivery. So just um, be careful. <laughs> and at that point, you may want to order from AliExpress um, or Timu because I believe it's going to be cheaper that way. But yeah, I'm trying to go back to the menu. It's just, I don't know. I don't. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm clicking share. Okay, yeah, I can see why I'm not going back to the menu. Exit, continue, continue. Yeah, but alright. Um, I'm going to check out another game here in a minute. And um, I'll show you the emulators later on.